not going to be able to get out of the chair, is he? It's just going to be stuck. It's almost Christmas, and Santa's elves are about to go into gift-packing frenzy. Our GCN heroes are looking for maximum bang for their bucks, and 130 bucks, or 100 pounds, doesn't go an awful long way. But just how far does it go? Let's find out. Right, let's see what you boys have got. Are oh, those Gucci, those shapes? Oh, hold on a minute. I know. Is that one on There's the some end? some funny shapes. Right, should we start on the left? That's right. We've each been given £100 by our very kind producer to purchase or acquire the fastest two-wheeled machine that our rather meagre budget can offer to carry out some tests. Matt Stevens, and mine. Gun wall tires, mate. High five. What I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to heighten the excitement by giving you a slow reveal on mine, if that's all right. So like a strip tease. A vintage. I thought that was a triple for a second. There she wow, is. Wow, look at that, mate. Look at that. I'm, pr I'm proud. Well, this is my beauty. Baby blue in colour. It's a Carlton made in England, probably, I think, from the early 1980s. Look at the rake on those forks. Look at the large flange hubs. Look at the rally chain set, basically. It's a 4250, I think, with 10-speed transmission. Cogs look pretty big at the back, but I haven't been able to count them because they're just a little bit too oily. But lovely attention to detail on this. I've obviously got clips and straps. I think these are 28 mil gum wall tyres. These are original, slightly perished at the side, which is a slight concern. But look at these beautiful centre pull brakes made by Weinman. OK, but look at these satellite shifters I have here as well. Satellite braking for when I'm climbing, which I hope I don't really need. Do you know what? She's going to fly. Matt likes a Carlton, and I like Matt too, but when it comes to striking a pose, Matt, as ever, misses the bus. All right then, guys, you are going to be... You're going to be a little bit nervous when you see this, because... Uh, because I think this is going to be fast. Check it out. We've got this? disc brakes. Oh, my oh word. yeah. Wow. A Griffon. <laughs> I've even got a Pandora. Did, did you think it was graphene? This is my Carrera Griffon. And that's Griffon, not graphene. Actually, it's made out of aluminium, which, which I just found out. But nevertheless, this is a serious bit of kit. For a serious rider, I, I really need to win this challenge. I've not won one since 2014, which is a longer drought even than Cannondale Drapak. But this, this is the bike that's going to do it for me. It's a very modern bike, got 16 gears, disc brakes, got nice wide 2080 tyres, and even when you start looking, got aerodynamic rims. And in fact, an aerodynamic down tube, which is slightly ruined, I'll admit, by that mudguard. But anyway, it's aero. Let's, that's all we need to know. There is one slight problem, and that is this horrific looking steerer extender. Now, I'll admit when I bought it, my intention was to flip the stem and slam it, getting nice and aero. Unfortunately, I can't do that. Something about a star-fangled nut. That's, that means I can't actually drop the stem. But anyway, I've got confidence. This is a mighty bike. If this rear brake isn't very good for skids, though. Stand back. <laughs> I hope that's got a motor, mate. Otherwise, that is not a fast bike. <laughs> Please welcome the Schwinn Stingray. Stingray. Seriously, mate, that, that is, is a lot of bike for 100 quid. Well, this is my Schwinn Stingray. And to start this, I'm going to quote directly from the Schwinn website. Part cruiser, part chopper, 100% muscle bike. Now, let's go through a few of the specifications. It's got a big V-back drag handlebar, some long-range V-drag forks, plus a big boa drag rear tyre. So, all in a drag, then? It is a lot of drag, but I'm into my drag, as you know, Si. Uh, all in all, this comes in at a whopping 24 and a half kilograms, which in old money is over 50 pounds. And since I got this, even in this condition at 95 pounds, that's less than two pounds per pound. It's a lot of bang for your buck right there. Dan's bike doesn't come with a horn, but he adds a little toot of his own. Oh, Christ, whack my knee. Oh, get that wheel, pop a wheelie, come on. <laughs> <laughs> right, so uh, Tom, this, you got a bit of explaining to these, mate. Again, was a hundred quid, slightly more than that delivered, and it's got three wheels. <laughs> Whoa, Bosh! But uh, you know, it's got three, it's got three-speed Sturmey Archer hub, 
Um, it's got a quick release. It's got a beer. <laughs> it's got a beer container. I think that's the Allen key that's got stuck in there, mate. That's not a quick release. That's amazing. I'm not sure there's much quick about it, but yeah, this is my bike. This is my Pashley Picador trike. That's right. It has got three wheels. Um, apart from that, I've not really seemed to get the hang of riding it. <laughs> it's got three gears. It's got two front brakes, which is new, as well as the three wheel thing. It's also got this trunk on the back, which is presumably quite good for carrying things. That's about it, really. I don't think I can even ride it. It's marginally, marginally slower than just walking. But we'll give it a go. Strangely, Tom puts his Aunt Jackie's ashes in the trunk. The criminal mind hides guilt with laughter. <laughs> Time to take Jackie for a nervous spin. Wow. Yeah, it's not, it's not very good at going right, even around slight corners. Right in chaps. Are we going for it? Yeah. The challenge. Okay. You will undertake five challenges to decide which presenter and his budget bike was best value for money. Okay. Ooh, well, there will be four tests to decide the start order for the finale. The winner of each test will win time bonuses for the last challenge. Wow. Take, tell you what, that's... So there's like four preparatory rounds and a grand finale, is that what we're saying? I think that's what this is saying. <sighs> so, as challenge number one is nearest my bike, I shall uh, do the honours. Here we go. Test number one, the wheelie. Oh, oh, the wheelie king, Kurt Wheelie is mine. <laughs> Kurt Osborne, nicknamed the wheelie king from California in the United States, is the Guinness World Record holder for the longest bicycle wheelie. Riding on the back wheel in August 1998, he rode a wheelie for a record 11 hours at the Anaheim Convention Center in California. Who can wheelie the furthest on their steed? <laughs> Time to find the answer to the question that's been raging on the GCN notice boards. Who has the biggest wheelie? Right, looks like it's me to start off with the wheelies. Go on, Matt. You can do Look, it. watch, and learn how not to do it. Good luck, mate. I know that face. That means business. <laughs> <laughs> how do you miss the start line? <laughs> Matt doesn't have the biggest wheelie, but he's pleased with it. Cy, si, you're up next. All right. The Cyborg was designed to be both aero and dynamic. It's showtime for GCN's stunt robot. Limit neck. Oh, it's a biggie. Right. Go on, Dan. Good luck, mate. Dan goes OCD as he cleans the target zone. Not a hair out of place after a period of no hair at all. Dan sets the bar high for all Schwinn owners. And back to the bar he goes. Yep, he just can't stop. <laughs> Whoa, even further! Proper little bit of lift there. Three metres? As ever, it's a cheeky triple for Dan. But there's a younger man up next. Pack it in, Dan. Slightly nervous about this one. I don't know why, mate. I think you'll be fine. Just just play it. Play it safe, yeah. You got it in the right gear? Look how cautious, I just love how cautious you have to be on that bike. Time for Tom to take Granny for a ride. Just checking there's no puff of dust. Come on, Tom. Oh, he's beating oh. me up in the go. No, you've got to lose points for hitting the go. Nah, nah. Surely. <laughs> points for beating you. <laughs> that was hilarious. And it's double helpings for Jackie in the box. He's got more speed. Oh, my God, this is... Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's about, I think it's about there, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Every time I do this, the reach gets a little bit shorter. <laughs> <laughs> the best of the worst. In these parts, that means top sausage. Simon had the biggest, just ahead of Dan's spicy salami, a chipolata performance from Tom, and a cocktail sausage from Matt. But it was chilly. Right then, number two, the bunny hop. The highest <laughs> bicycle bunny hop is one meter 45 or four foot nine and was achieved by Rick Cook Cook in London on the 29th of July 2017. How high can you bunny hop your bike? We shall soon find out, won't we? Who designed these really things? Really <laughs> right, let's do it. The average bunny only hops around three centimeters off the ground. But can these guys beat the bunny in public? 
Come on, Matt. Matt says he's aiming to produce the perfect parabola. That's a mathematically perfect curve, which should see the wheels horizontal at the medium point. What do you reckon that was? Four centimetres? Well, it's certainly a load of parabolics. We've got a different foot this time. Ooh. Ready? Here we go. He's coming. Coming in hot. Tom looks nervous about his first jump. To succeed, he needs to clear his mind, listen to the inner self, be at one with his ancestors, who are clearly no help this time. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Tom now realising he should have gone for a younger model. <laughs> I can't bend it back. The pedal's touching the floor. Turn it upside down. It'll be all right. <laughs> Tom describes his ride as quirky, but it's a turkey, and the carcass is failing. <laughs> Dan Lloyd is an anagram of Diner Doll. Time to blow it up and get on with it. That wasn't my best one. I've got one more go, haven't I? Go on, Lloydie. Ooh! Dan pumping iron. He performs heroically, teasing his cruiser into a bruiser. All right. There you go, Cy. Good luck, mate. Thanks. <laughs> Back wheel didn't quite go off. No. Impressive front wheel. Like Impressive front wheel. wheel. Sai is a renowned disco fanatic. He knows you've got to get up to get down. Go on, Sai. Sadly for our wheelie king, in this test, he's no glorious gainer. Dan the man. Sai, the first two letters of silver. Matt, not glossy. Tom, buried like his aunt should have been. Challenge number three. Oh, the track stand. The current Guinness World Record for the longest track stand is 21 <laughs> hours, 34 minutes. Well, I've I think, got a kickstand. I, I think Tom could probably do that on his for about two days. Hang on a minute. Hang just on a minute. It says track it. stand, not kickstand. Anyway, right. uh, Jim Deschamps at Miller Motorsports Park in Toole, Utah, on uh, Utah rather, on the 18th of November 2008 for the MTV show Nitro Circus. How long? I think, I think Tom might have won it already, mate. I've only just, no, I've, I've just got dropped. My I've got my kickstand. Oh, it's going to be close between <laughs> you two. We this is going to be a long one. Well, I'm quite looking oh, forward to this one. Let's go and do that. I didn't even think to buy a trike. Holding steady while those around you fail is a skill set the army seek in elite forces. So who will wear the big pants and who will go commando? And stop. Animal. It's the mood Dan adopts in competition. It's also the name of the Muppets drummer. Those arms are busy. Oh, I'm down. Dan Lloyd is an anagram of all noddy, but he can't beat big ears this time. I didn't realise you were allowed to move forwards. <laughs> I got a third. Right then, lasty. It's you and me, mate. Matt turns into a bronzed beauty. Well, pinky bronze. Just chill. I'm, I'm sat here waiting for the frame to fail. Dan, do you think Tom's got a little bit of an advantage? Well, I wasn't allowed to use my kickstand. Yeah. He's so relaxed. <sighs> oh, you're doing well, there, son. Thanks, mate. Let's do the extra high handlebars. It's true, actually. It's quite comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> One-handed? Well, can you do no-handed? Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> no, that's it. Ah, fair play, mate. Well done, sorry. There's bloody good skills there, Tom, though, mate. Seriously, that's just off the scale, mate. Victor, he was good, wasn't he? He was, yeah. That was my first podium. No, no two-thirds. A relaxed yet satisfying effort from Tom and Aunt Jackie. Simon with the skills, Matt with the thrills, and Dan with the swills. He'll drink to that. Oh, right. Hopefully this one is just about looking cool. Stop. 
stopping distance. It is stated that a bike being operated should be able to stop at a speed of 15 miles per hour within four and a half meters, which is 15 feet. What distance will your bike require to stop from 15 miles per hour to a standstill? If you can get your bike to 15 miles per hour. Yeah, that might be. Can. We've got a downhill, haven't we? It's a bit dicey there, isn't it, really? Yeah, that is. Well, at least last I'm quite confident on this one. I am quite I'm confident. A little, I'm a bit Come nervous. On. Sometimes a good performance is all about knowing when to stop. It's showtime for some proper anchors. I'm trying to, do we be, are we level with Louis's front wheel or his back wheel? Look at his frame. Yeah. Well, I think there aren't any words really, are there? It's, it's sad. I think, I think it's fixable for the final stage. I was pleased to get the win on that, actually, that stage, but, you know, it was win at all costs. The beard and the weird tie for first. Matt and Cy mistakenly went full beans, but couldn't control the gas. The final test is the hill climb, all right? So this is the final challenge to decide the overall champion. Basically, it's the fastest climb to the summit of the Campo Longo, which is 5.8 kilometers in length, Elevation gain of 353 three metres, 11% maximum gradient, 6.1% average gradient is going to be the winner. I like the sound of that. Yeah, we were each provided with £100 to purchase our bike, as we well know. Now, the winner of each test receives a minute advantage. So, and for every pound saved on your purchase below £100, we will also receive a minute advantage. So, Dan's bike cost oh, nice. £95, he gets a minute. Five yeah, minutes. well, he gets five minutes. Yes. Which you might actually need, to be honest with you, mate. <laughs> right then, let's do this. It's time to test the metal and see who's nuts, who bolts, who's rusty, and who's a bit of a spanner. There's tension in the air. You can smell it. But who dealt it? Three, two... two. One, go! Come on, Lloydie. Come on, mate. Okay, get quicker than that. Pacing, pacing. You don't put a greyhound on roller skates. You get a lot of effort and not much go. Straight line pace goes AWOL, and pretty it is not. Oh, my goodness, this is going to be a long climb. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Is that shove legal? Sorry, just... Tom keeps the faith. He believes this game is not lost. He also believes in the Tooth Fairy and Father Christmas. He should have asked Santa for a new frame. Three, two, one, go. Ah, oh, look at that. It's like poetry in motion. Sometimes in life, to get the job done, you need to find the right tool. Think of Simon, think right tool. Think of Tom, think last. <laughs> One target down, thoughts drift to the chaser. If he can clear the fear of the rear from his mind, he'll be OK. I'm nervous about Matt. Three, two, Ooh. one, go! Said, boys, let me get these straps on. Oh. Matt always fumbles when it comes to straps, but once tied down, he usually performs, and today is no different. Matt starts to look very Bernardino, but maybe not so much Badger as Tadger. Up ahead, Dan turns into middle distance legend Haile Gabri Selassie. Or is that slightly Gabri Selassie? I can't see him. I'm at my limit. I can't see him. How has he done it? Oh, God. Dan tries an old motivational technique he uses when he races his own kids. It's called shouting. Not in sight. Look. The big gap. The big gap. Come on. It's a really sad end.
You might think Tom brought a knife to a gunfight, but he didn't. He brought a catapult to nuclear war. Tom says goodbye to Auntie. There's no music and curtains with this ceremony and no winning ticket from the tombola. Dan Lloyd is an anagram of yodeling lad. Well, he's not singing now. Ah! First the worst! Size efforts means he lives up to the nickname The Ringmaster. That's from the circus, obviously. Matt, he's tested his guts today. It's been full gas. This win has been a long time coming. Sai has broken a duck, got a monkey off his back, and as he says, knotted the python. That's how much effort he's put in. Oh, I can't believe it. I thought eight minutes would be too much to make up on an athlete like Lordy. We saw how fast he was running. Those tips from GTN obviously paid off. I'm just, I'm just so thankful I've broken that three-year duck. Ah, oh, feels good. Oh. Go on, Matt! Matt lunging for glory on, mate, from an imaginary in. pack of opponents with actual talent. In the big dog as well. <laughs> Dan Lloyd is an anagram of oldie land. But today, this mountain belongs to a younger man. Good ride. Well done, mate. Hold well on. Did you get it? I did, mate. I did. Just held I off. I thought I had it for a bit. I thought you had it for a bit. I thought you had it as well. Yeah. I beat Lasty, though. Have you seen him? I passed him on the second corner. I just passed him just past the second corner. I don't, he didn't look to be in great shape, to be honest with you. Or his bike didn't, anyway. Really? Yeah. Tom abandoned both his trike and Aunt Jackie. In life, neither gave him much support. He's coping well with his loss. Well, I tell you what, chaps, that was quite a race and what a bike test. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I've learned a lot, actually, on this challenge, I must admit. So yeah, because that's such a broad spread of machines, but ultimately, it was the hybrid with only one working disc brake that stole the day by yeah. a, a reasonable margin. The well. hybrid being the world's best value eBay bike, but closely followed by the retro road bike. Yeah, I mean, the- Pushed it hard. It had automatic gears at some point. It kind Did of it? decided on the clients which gears it sort of chose itself. But regardless, still a quite a lovely ride. Super I'll tell precious. you what though, that light that you got free of your bike is pretty darn good. Like as you were sailing into the distance, I could see miles I could away. see it as well, yeah. a little marker, yeah. And I tell you what, perhaps the most valuable lesson learned is when buying a bike off eBay, especially if it's made out of steel. Don't buy it with three wheels. And just check to make sure it's not rusted through. Yeah, yeah. and that it's got triangle shapes in yeah. the frame. Yeah. Triangle Always shape. helps. Yeah. Still valiant effort, mate. Right, yeah. just before you pop that open, that looks like quite good champagne. Don't. Don't go too over the top when you're spraying. So just do a little spray keep and some of that for drink drinking. Yeah. Oh, well, no, that was the coolest bite, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, that last was gone a bit without early. doubt the coolest. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What? Oh, Whoa! Nice <laughs> it was a great effort, lads. <laughs> it's a screw top. <laughs> not you not know it's a screw top? Don't no, waste it. Cheers, Cheers, mate, and well done. Uh, right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this latest presenter challenge video. Uh, I haven't so, so much because I didn't win. If you have, please give it a thumbs up down below and also make sure you subscribe by clicking on the globe. Absolutely, and if you want to watch some more GCN presenter challenges, then why not see the climbing challenge, find out who was the best climber, which I'm still sore about. Or for our downhill chainless challenge from the USA, click just down here. <laughs>